Welcome to the Beginner's Ashtanga class. So we're going to get started by standing to the top of the mat, just about one foot from the top of the mat, and touch your big toes together if possible, and bring your heels slightly apart. Release your hands by your side, samastitahi, close your eyes. And let's start to stand really tall from the heels ground down, knees stacked over heels, hips stacked over knees. Lengthen your spine from the tailbone right to the back of your neck. And notice if you can become a centimeter taller. Start to breathe through your nose and try to breathe through your nose for the whole practice with a constriction at the back of the throat. Allowing you to create a hissing sound with your breath. Try to maintain consistent, even, smooth breathing through your nose the entire class. Sun Salutation A. Inhale, reach your arms up really high. Exhale, folding in half. Bend your knees if you need to. Grab the back of your legs if the floor is out of your reach. Inhale to a flat spine. Neck is long. Plant your hands on the floor. Step your feet back. Lower through Chaturanga with your knees. Flip into Cobra Pose, shoulder blades down the back, neck long. Tuck your toes, lift your seat up into the air, downward facing dog. We take five deep breaths in downward facing dog in Ashtanga Yoga. Five deep Ujjayi pranayama breaths, breathing with sound through the nose only, teeth are separated, jaw relaxed. Now start to bend your knees, scoop your belly in, stepping forward, lengthen to a flat spine. Exhale, folding in half, Uttanasana. Inhale, rise to standing quickly, reach up your arms. Exhale, Samastatihi. We're going to do that two more times. Inhale, bring the arms up, big deep breath. Fold down through your entire exhale breath. Inhale to a flat spine. Lengthen your whole spine, looking forward. Then bend your knees, switch your feet as you step back to a plank. And exhale, lower with your elbows stacked over your wrists. Inhale, flip into cobra or upward facing dog. Now if you're in upward facing dog, lift your thighs off the floor. Exhale, lift into downward facing dog. And if you have any lower back issues, use your knees for that transition. Now check that your heels are in line with your pinky toes. Squeeze your thighs. And bring yourself forward between the hands. Again, switch your feet if you're stepping. Inhale, lengthen flat back. Exhale, folding over the legs, bend your knees slightly if your back pulls. Inhale, rolling up your spine to standing, reach high. Exhale, samastatihi. One more time. Big inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, fold forward, uttanasana. Lift your head and chest to a flattened spine. Inhale, hips over ankles, plant your hands, stepping back to high plank. Lower down, chaturanga or with your knees, looking forward. Inhale, flip over into upward dog into your back bend and lift into downward facing dog. Scoop your lower belly up into your back and feel the lower back lengthen. And lengthen all the way to the back of the neck. Let your head be heavy. Press into your hands, spread your fingers wide, push the floor away. Bend your knees, scoop in your belly, step your feet forward together, inhale, flat spine. Exhale, folding in half. Inhale, rolling up to standing, keep your legs fully engaged, reach high. Exhale, samastatihi, hands at your side. Sun salutation B. On your inhale breath, bend your knees into chair pose. Exhale, folding, the whole exhale, folding, legs straighten slightly. Inhale to a flat spine, belly to spine, chest forward. Plant your hands, step back to plank and lower down with your exhale. Inhale, cobra or upward dog, back of the neck long, chest open. Exhale, lifting into downward dog. 
Now step your right foot forward with your knee over your ankle for warrior one. Plant your back heel down so your toes are 45 degrees. Inhale, stand up. Place your hands around your front foot. Step back to a high plank and lower as you exhale. Inhale, upward dog. Lifting the thighs, exhale, downward facing dog. Other side, warrior one. Left foot steps forward, knee is over the ankle. Plant your back heel on the floor. Keep your back leg straight, push your heel away and bring your right hip forward. Straight back down to the floor, hands down, step back, lower, keep your legs straight and strong unless you're using your knees. Inhale, upward facing. Exhale, downward facing dog. Slow down your breathing. Have a soft, steady gaze. If you need to rest, come into child's pose. Balasana. Your knees go on the floor and you sit back towards your heels if it's comfortable and breathe and rest there. Come back up. Finishing downward dog child's pose. Inhale, flat spine. Exhale, folding in half. Release your breath. Bend your knees back into chair pose and stand straight. We're going to do that all one more time for the warm up. Inhale, bend your knees. Lift your toes maybe, accentuate the push in your heels. Exhale, folding forward, belly into spine. Inhale, flat spine, look up. Plant your hands, step back, lower, chaturanga. Inhale, flip into upward facing dog. Tailbone drawn down, lift your chest. Exhale, downward dog. Step your right foot forward, warrior one. Aim your hips forward and bring your left hip forward and down. Lift your ribs out of your waistline. Your exhale breath, one breath, move through chaturanga. Inhale into your back bend, upward dog. Exhale, lifting into downward facing dog. Use your core to lift. Left foot steps forward, warrior one, back leg steady, inhale. Now bring your right hip forward and down, reach up to your fingertips out of the waist. Exhale through chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Head is heavy, legs are strong. Breath smooth. Good, and let's make our way forward. Belly to spine, bend your knees to prepare. Stepping lightly, feet together, top of the mat. Lengthen halfway, inhale. Exhale, fold, empty the breath. Inhale, squeeze your legs together, chair pose, sit into a chair. Standing straight, samastatihi. Put your hands on your waist, step your feet apart, turn your heels in line with your pinky toes, feel the bones in your lower back. Take a big inhale, open your chest, and as you exhale, fold, reaching the chest out of the hip creases. Take your big toes with your index finger, middle finger, thumb. Then again, inhale, lengthen forward, tip your hips over your ankles, squeeze your thighs, your exhale breath, folding down towards your legs. Now, as you fold down, try not to round your low back or lock out your knees. Each pose about five breaths, and it's okay if your breath rate doesn't match my count. Just try to breathe. Inhale, lift your head to a flat spine and step your feet onto your hands. You can step on your fingers or your whole palm touching your wrist. You're gonna take a big inhale, lengthen the spine, scoop your belly into your back and exhale, fold your head down. Move your shoulders slightly back away from your ears, your shoulder blades so your neck feels long in the back and your collarbone feels wider in the front. And notice how you feel. What does it feel like 
to lengthen the back of the legs without pulling on your knees, sit bones or back, breathing deeply into tension. Inhale to a flat spine, look forward again and exhale, put your hands on your waist. Inhale, stands up. Exhale, step your feet together so they're touching again. Step your right foot back for Trikonasana. It's not a wide step. Your right toes point back, straight back with your heel and pinky toe in line. The left toes are angled in slightly. Arms out, inhale, big stretch. Exhale, reach your right arm forward to lengthen the right side of the body. Keep your legs strong around your knees and then lower your right hand to your shin. Left hand up into the air. Over time, the gaze is to the thumb, but feel the back of the neck extend from your tailbone first and then start to turn your head. And wherever you feel like there's congestion, that's where you're going to stop. Lean your head back over top of your front foot. Now inhale, stand up, switch your feet, inhaling the whole way, left toes forward, right toes in. Squeeze your legs, inhale, reach your left arm really, really, really far forward away from your hip crease and exhale, fold, keeping that length. Pull up on your top hand. So the bottom hand's really light and we're not leaning onto the leg. Draw your lower belly into your spine. Lengthen the lower back. Keep your core stable and then twist your upper body, just your chest and your shoulders up. Inhale, stand, revolve triangle, lift your toes and turn on your heels to face the back of the mat. Now the hips are square, back foot's 45 degrees angled. Put your right hand on your lower back. Take a big inhale, sweep your left arm up. Now as you exhale, reach that left arm really far forward away from your left hip. And keeping your spine parallel to the floor, place your hand down to your leg, a block of the floor. Turn your chest to the right and start to stack your shoulders. Imagine your right shoulder blade is drawing to your left hip and your left shoulder blade is drawing to your right hip. Now inhale, stand up, lift your toes and turn all the way to your front leg, your left leg now. Exhale, square your hips, look at your alignment, back foot 45 degrees, put your left hand lower back right in the center. Inhale, sweep up your right arm, reach it forward. Flat back, exhale, fold, right hand down. Now keep your spine parallel to the floor, lift your head and start to turn, stacking your left shoulder on top of the right shoulder eventually. Squeeze your inner thighs together, lift the arch of the back foot and ground through the outer edge of your back foot. Notice if you're breathing. Inhale, stand up, open to the side, stretch out your arms. Exhale, step forward to the top of the mat and relax, letting go of the postures. Step your right foot back again, a bit wider than last time, and point your right toes back. Left toes slightly in. Inhale, reach out your arms. On your exhale, bend your knee over your ankle. Put your elbow on top of your knee and rotate your left arm down and across your chest. So your armpits closing. And you can stretch your fingers away from your left ankle. And have very little weight in your bottom arm. Squeeze. The heels towards each other. Switch sides. Inhale brings you up. Switch your feet. Right toes in. Left toes point forward. Inhale. And as you exhale, bend your knee. Put your left elbow above your knee and the right arm down and across your chest, getting your shoulder in the right orientation to reach your fingers forward. The traditional drishti is the right thumb. Keep the back leg strong and steady. Push down your heel and lift the arches of both of your feet up to the pelvic floor, like you're squeezing your inner thighs together. Next pose, inhale, stand up. Turn to the back of your mat, so we're facing our right leg. 
and place your left knee down on the floor. So both legs 90 degrees. Sweep up your left arm, take a big inhale, and scoop in your lower belly, twist, and try to get your, your elbow to the outer edge of your knee and possibly your armpit close without leaning on the leg. So just turning around to demo that. You push off of the leg, bring your thumbs towards the center of your chest, and slide your shoulder blades in and down the back so your neck's long. Now you can try to lift your back knee off the floor. That's optional. Switch sides, inhale, stand up, turn to your left leg, exhale, place your right knee on the floor. Now inhale, sweep up that right arm really tall, exhale, scoop your belly in, elbow to outer edge knee, push off of the leg, find length in your spine, go ahead, try and lift your back knee off the floor if you want to, keeping that leg strong and steady, heel squeezing up towards your sit bone. Lengthen your head away from your heel. And inhale, stand up with control, strong, steady legs, deep breath. Exhale, step to the top of your mat and release your posture. Hands waist, stepping your right foot back again. Now turn both of your heels out in line with your pinky toes. Take a big inhale with your hands at your waist, open up your chest. As you exhale, reach your chest and chin forward putting your hands on the floor, shoulder width apart. Keep your hips in line with your ankles. Your knees can be bent if needed. We're gonna take an inhale, lengthen the spine, and the exhale, folding your head down towards the floor. Keep your spine straight. Allow your head to relax. Allow your face to relax. And if your hands are easily pressed into the floor, you can bend your elbows towards each other and move your shoulder blades down the back so again your neck feels long in the back and your collarbone wide. Next inhale, lift your spine, flat spine, straight arms, exhale, hands waist. Inhale, stand up, exhale. Inhale, bring the arms out wide. Exhale, bring your hands back to your waist. Inhale, lift your chest, lengthen the front of the body from your waist to your armpits. And exhale, fold forward. Keep that length. Grab your big toes with your index finger, middle finger, and thumb. If that's too far, hold your ankles or your shins. Inhale and exhale, fold your head down towards the floor again. With a straight spine, scoop your belly into your back, squeeze your thighs. Push down to your heels and squeeze your glutes at the same time, so the muscles of your bum. Big breath, inhale, lift your head flat spine, exhale, draw your belly in. Inhale brings you up to standing. Exhale, step to the top of the mat and shake out your legs if you need to, let it all go. Next posture, we reach the arms way out to the side, reach the arms back, clasp your opposite elbows if possible and if that's a bit too far, hold your forearms. Now you wanna move your shoulder blades back so the collarbone's wider. Then step your right foot back, turn all the way to the back of the mat, back foot 45 degrees. Inhale, lengthen the front body. Now as you exhale, keep pushing in your back foot, reach your chest and chin forward to your front shin bone and start to fold. Do not lock out your knees in this posture. Keep even weight through both feet and you can bend your front knee slightly if you need to. Keep your thigh engaged. Good. Inhale, stand up. Lift your toes, spin on your heels to your front of the mat towards your left shin bone. Hip square. Inhale, push into your back foot, lengthen your chest and chin. Keep the length of the front body. Imagine you're reaching out of your hip crease with your chest and chin folding onto the left leg. Bring your right hip forward and your left hip back, squeezing the inner thighs together and the arches of the feet lifting. Shoulders are drawn back to keep the chest open. Inhale, stand and turn to the side of your mat, stretch out your arm, exhale, stepping forward, letting it all go. Samastatihi.
Now we'll move into some balancing postures. So I've turned to the side here. Start with engaging your left leg strongly and drawing up your right knee as you inhale. Put your right hand on your knee. Flex your foot. Imagine your leg is lifting its own weight. And slowly start to bring your knee out to the side. Try to move from your hip socket, not from twisting your body to the side. Keep squeezing your left bum cheek, pushing your heel down. Inhale, bring your knee forward again. Put both hands on your waist, point out your toes. And then release your leg. Okay, give them a shake if your hip flexors feel tense. Let's do the other side. So right hand, right hip. Lift up your left knee, inhale. Stack your heel, knee, hip, standing leg and lengthen the crown of the head up. Chest lifted. Bring your knee to the left hand side and keep your right hip over the knee. Press down through your big toe mound of your standing leg and squeeze the inner thigh. Lengthen the left side of your body. Let your hips soften down, your left hip only. Inhale, bring your leg center. Exhale, point your toes, hands waist. Try not to lean back here. Point the toes and then release your leg. Give it a shake. Next posture, another balance posture, tree posture. Option one, putting your heel above your ankle of your right leg, maybe sliding your foot to your inner calf. And if you have the space, reach down, grab your ankle, put your right foot in the inner left thigh and press your heel into your inner thigh as you squeeze the thigh against it. Really, you can have your foot anywhere along your leg aside from your knee. Keep your gaze soft and steady. Breathe. Now inhale, lift your knee and exhale, place your foot on the floor. Other side. Left foot above the ankle, calf, or inner thigh. Again, just not your knee. Hands heart center. Lift your heart center. Lift the crown of the head. Lower belly to spine. The gaze is soft and steady and the breath is full and deep through the nose. Use your breath to keep your focus away from the balance. Inhale, lift your leg, exhale, place your foot down to the floor. Turn back to the top of your mat, feet together, we'll take a vinyasa. Inhale, bring your arms up high. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, lengthen, flat spine, hips over ankles, belly to spine, plant your hands, stepping back to a plank. Lower down through chaturanga or with your knees. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Look forward to your hands, step your feet together to the top of the mat, inhale. Bend your knees into a chair pose, holding for five breaths. One, squeeze your thighs. Two, lift your toes, press into your heels. Three, keep your knees above your toes, four, and five. Good, exhale, fold forward, let that go. Inhale, lengthen your spine. Plant your hands, stepping your feet back, plank, lower down as you exhale. Inhale, cobra or upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Warrior one, we'll step the right foot forward between the hands and help that foot up if it didn't quite make it. Back foot on the floor, 45 degrees. Face your hips forward so you can look at them first and then inhale, stand up, strong, steady legs. Bend your front knee over your ankle. Scoop your pelvis forward and down and lift up the rib cage so the waist is longer and there's space in your lower back. Bring your left hip forward and your right hip back and squeeze your inner thighs together. 
Breathing through your nose, steady breath. Straighten your front leg, turn on your heels to the back of your mat, same posture on your other leg. Bend your knee, your left knee over your ankle. Scoop your tailbone forward and down. Right hip forward, left hip back. Push into the back foot. Try to keep your knees straight and free from pain. Breathing with a steady gaze, breathing down to the rib cage, lower belly to spine. Warrior two, warrior two, widen your feet if you need to. Turn your hips to the right side of your mat and stack your shoulders over top of each one of your hips. Turn your head to your left middle finger for your gazing point. Keep the sides of your neck long. Squeeze your sit bones together. So you feel your legs engaged strongly, holding the posture. And we'll switch the sides. Left toes in, right toes forward. Inhale first, exhale, bend your right knee over your ankle. The thigh is rotating outward, so your knee goes towards your pinky toe side of your foot, maintaining a press of your big toe mound to the floor. Keep your legs feeling strong and your spine feeling lengthened. Neck relaxed. Bring your hands around your front foot to the floor. Step back to downward dog. And come forward into a high plank. Lower chaturanga. Exhale breath. Inhale upward dog. Stretch that out. Exhale downward facing dog. That is the standing sequence. Come to your knees and then roll over your legs to seated. Forward fold. Grab your thighs, roll them inwards. You can sit on a block if you need to. Now, fingertips or palms to the floor. Lift your chest up high. Roll your shoulders down. Keep your chest lifted and tilt your chin towards your chest, looking down towards your belly button. Scoop your belly into your back and flex your feet. Now this posture we want to feel fully engaged but relax where there's an excess of tension. Not relaxing to the point where we lose the integrity of the pose however. Maintain that strength in your legs, that activity in your legs. Put your hands to the hip creases and lift up to your armpits and your chest, shoulders back and start to fold towards your legs, keeping a straight spine. If your back starts to pull or your sit bones are behind your knees, bend your knees, keep your thighs squeezed. Every inhale you take, feel a sense of expansion through your body. Where is the edge of the posture? Through your whole body, not just the most pronounced area of sensation. And when you exhale, try to soften and let go. And we'll release that posture and roll down to lay on your back, straightening your spine on the floor. Put your feet underneath your knees and relax on the floor for a moment. Lifting into a back bend, lift your tailbone off the floor. Feel your lower back lengthen. Keep lifting your sit bones as you push down to your heels. So the lower back arch is lengthened and not sharp. And you can flip your palms and roll your shoulders outwards if you want to go further. And roll down one vertebrae at a time with control. Take a deep breath in. And full exhale, softening into the floor. Let's come up again. Pushing into your feet, your heels, lift up your tailbone. Feel the strength of your back of the body. 
your hamstrings engage, the back of the thighs, your glutes engage, the bum muscles, lifting your hip points, lifting your tailbone, and roll down. Take a deep breath in, full exhale out, softening, relaxing. Let's do that one more time. When you're ready, push into your feet, lift your tailbone first. Inhale, lift the hips. Roll up the spine. Roll your shoulders and upper arm bones outwards, palms facing up to expand through your chest if that's okay for your neck. Keep the neck long in the back, space in the front. Bind your hands if that's available. And let go of the posture, rolling down with control. Bring your feet off the floor, grab the back of your knees. Rock and roll up your spine. Inhale up, exhale back all the way up to seated. Moving into another forward fold. This time after the back bend, if you notice that your back feels more tense, bend your knees and wrap your arms underneath your legs. Let your head be heavy and surrender into the shape of the posture. Breathing deeply into your whole back body as you inhale, expanding into tension. And exhale, softening, letting go. Release that posture and roll down to lay on your back again. Lift up your seat and slide your thumbs underneath your lower back with the palms facing down. Lift your feet up into the air. Your hands there gives a tilt of your pelvis towards your head. And continue to do that if your lower back feels strained or if there's a big curvature there. If there's not, you can take your hands away. Be mindful that you're not straining your lower back. You could also put a block or a pillow underneath your lower back and bring your arms over your head, grabbing opposite elbows as an option. If that pinches your shoulders, skip that part. If you have your elbows and your hands, switch your hands. Lower belly drawing your back to the floor. Breath is deep through the nose down to the bottom of the rib cage. Exhale the same length as your inhale. And release your arms if they're over your head. Put them on the floor and lower your legs down to the floor. Straight, strong legs, keeping your navel, pressing your back down to the floor. Come down slowly until the place where you feel like you control it and then relax and just let your feet come down. Modified fish posture. Lift your head and chest and put your hands just at the top of your upper hips. Palms down, you can sit on your fingertips, elbows underneath your shoulders. Squeeze your shoulder blades down the back, lengthen your neck in the back long. And extend your head back without dropping it down. Keep pointing your toes, squeeze your thighs. 
Breathe through your chest and your throat. And release the posture carefully, laying down. Feet on the floor. Then bring your knees close to your chest. And again, rock and roll up to seated. Inhale up, exhale back. A couple times, two times, three times. Find a comfortable seat. Sukhasana, where we put the feet underneath the knees, roll the thigh bones outwards. Sit really tall and bind your elbows or forearms behind your back. Take a big inhale, scoop your lower belly in and exhale, start to fold towards your crossed legs. If your sit bones come off the floor, come back up again, glue them to the floor and then only go halfway forward. Inhale, rolling up, release your hands on top of your knees, touch your thumb and index finger together. Close your eyes, keep your spine tall. A few deep rounds of breath, inhaling through the nose, opening the rib cage. Exhale without rush through your nose. Keep breathing like that, observing what your inhales feel like. what your exhales feel like. Still breathing. Facial expression is relaxed. Keep sitting tall. Open your eyes, bring your knees up, cross your shins, squeeze your knees like you're curling into a little ball, hands forward of hips and lift up your hips off the floor. Lift, lift, lift. Try to lift one foot off the floor. Try to lift the other foot. Try to lift both feet and then come down for Shavasana. Resting pose, laying down, maybe bring your knees into your chest first to lengthen your lower back. And when you feel ready, extend your legs out to the corners of your mat, let your toes flop out to the side heavy. Arms out to the side, palms facing up, shoulder blades flattened on the floor and drawn down. If your lower back bothers you, Practice with your feet on the floor and your knees leaned in towards each other. Or you can go up to a couch or a chair and put your feet up on the couch or chair for any lower back issues. Eyes closed, relax the eyelids, relax your forehead. Big deep breath in through your nose. Filling the whole body with breath. And exhale through your mouth, an audible sigh. Letting go of everything. Again, inhale through your nose. Full exhale through your mouth, becoming even heavier. One more time, big deep breath in through your nose. Exhaling, sighing through your mouth. We'll lay here together for the next few minutes. Surrendering the weight of the body to the floor and observing any thoughts that enter your mind. Try not to wander off into a daydream. 
And if you notice yourself doing that, that's okay. But just bring yourself back to stillness every time you notice you're drifting off. Connecting to those moments of complete stillness and space that exist between your thoughts and between the distractions that we experience. Start to take full deep breaths into your body, wiggling your fingers, wiggling your toes, stretching your arms over your head, stretching your legs. Bend your knees, put your feet on the floor, roll over to your right hand side, rest your head on your arm, rest there for a moment, eyes are still closed. Keeping your eyes closed, press yourself up to seated. Any comfortable sitting position and bring your hands to the center of your chest on Jolly Mudra, sitting tall through the spine. Let's close with an ohm together. Om. Bow forward to your hands. Thank you for joining me.